Cheyenne, 31, whose real name is Kristen, was sued on June 7, 2023 for the car accident that occurred back in August 2021. The U.S. Sun can exclusively reveal the lawsuit against Cheyenne has been dismissed. On January 31, the two plaintiffs requested to dismiss the lawsuit against just Cheyenne. Two plaintiffs filed the lawsuit against Cheyenne and the alleged gunman on June 7, 2023. The lawsuit is for motor vehicle property damage and personal injury. The plaintiffs claim to have suffered wage loss, loss of use of property, hospital and medical expenses, general damages, property damage, loss of earning capacity, and other damages. The court papers read, Plaintiffs believe and rely on the belief that defendant allegedly shot at the vehicle driven by defendant Kristen Floyd, which may have contributed to the automobile collision. Plaintiff was stopped at the above-referenced intersection waiting for a red light when his vehicle was rear-ended by the defendant's vehicle. Defendants so negligently, carelessly, and unlawfully operated, serviced, repaired, maintained, entrusted, and slash or inspected their vehicle, such that they caused the subject collision, resulting in injuries and damages to plaintiff as alleged herein. The negligent conduct of defendants, and each of them, was a substantial factor in causing injury to plaintiff and the damages alleged in this complaint. The plaintiff sued for over $25,000. Cheyenne responded to the complaint in October 2023. The court papers read, this answering defendant denies each and every allegation contained in the complaint and further denies that plaintiffs have been damaged in the sum or sums alleged, or in any other sum or sums, or at all. If plaintiffs suffered or sustained any damages as alleged in the complaint, those damages were proximately caused and contributed to by persons other than this answering defendant, including but not limited to DOE defendants. The liability of all defendants and responsible parties, named or unnamed, should be apportioned according to their relative degrees of fault, and the liability of this answering defendant should be reduced accordingly. She requested the case be dismissed and to have a jury trial if the case is not. A non-jury trial was set for December 4, 2024, and has been vacated by the court. Chayin first brought up the incident on a 2022 episode of Teen Mom, the next chapter. She said, you never think it could be you, or you never think that something like this would happen to you. Zach then said, we woke up. Ryder had an appointment at the doctor. Ace had his first checkup. We were just riding, a normal car day. Che looks at me and goes, what is that? There was a green beam on my face. I looked at who was holding the gun, and it was somebody we both knew. He's been in this house. All of a sudden, we start hearing the shots. He hit the car 13 times. We crashed into the back of a Prius. It was the worst feeling in the world. Chan added, It is a miracle we're still here. God literally covered us that day because every cop that was there said they do not understand how we were alive. I had to pinch myself to make sure I understood I was still alive. On the following season, Chan admitted she still struggles with trauma from the incident, especially since they are expected to go to trial in the case. At this time, the U.S. Sun is unable to confirm any criminal charges that are pending against the alleged shooter. Their children Ryder, Six, and Ace, too, were in the car at the time of the shooting.